Now the key part of this is getting the rhythm. And it's not quite so much like a, a country picking style where you have to alternate really rigorously between bass notes. You don't have to do that. It's more like the open E and of course the, the high E allows you to leave open strings and just kind of use it to create like a bass texture. Like you can actually run leads underneath it by just keeping the open string. You know how that gives it like a tonality? If you were just to play that on its own, like, it doesn't really have any context, but when you try and use little parts of the chord, and I'm gonna show you how to do that in a minute. So back to that first part on the E, because uh, for most of this we're going to be using uh, the basic blues chords, just uh, like a 12 bar progression, like a E7, an A7, and a B7. Like there might be a few, few G's thrown in there too. And I'll show you the right time to put that kind of thing in, but back to this lick. Basic E chord. That's our first two notes just both the open E strings. And you can, if you want, use a couple fingers, and I'm gonna talk about the actual, the right hand technique a little bit later, but for now, I'll just kind of do whatever feels comfortable and uh, just get the notes. Like, we can almost put, a, put an open B in there as well. We're getting like a little a little counter melody. We got this. And the pattern just for this basic part is So it's low E, high E. When you flip back to the low E for the pickup, and we're gonna go into that, the D note on the third fret of the B string. And then back to the open E. And the D and the E sound really good when they ring into each other. It kind of gives it a fluid sound like. So just try this. Just taking the E chord and then the pinky. 